Now you have to understand one thing. Self-improvement YouTubers don't watch self-improvement YouTube. And I don't read books. I can't speak for every single self-improvement YouTuber because I'm far from knowing every single one of them. Because as just said, I maybe watch one self-improvement video a month. And that's the only YouTube video I watch. <laughs> um, apart from maybe some editing tips that I won't use. <laughs> but what I want to tell you here is that the way self-improvement YouTubers make videos isn't the way you think they make them. Have you ever thought that self-improvement YouTubers read a book and then think, oh, let me make a video about this chapter in this book? Hell no. I don't make videos like that. Maybe some geek makes videos like that, but I can promise you, Hamza doesn't make videos like that. I don't make videos like that. And every single self-improvement YouTuber that, upload, that uploads on a regular sort of schedule, like me, I upload every single day. If you want to see that, you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to. But self-improvement YouTubers will have some form of a storage for ideas. And what they will do is they will go through their lives, they will meditate, they will gratitude journal, and then they will get those ideas. Oh, I see this guy over there having a problem with his girlfriend. I will make a video about that. Write it down. Boom. Later, write the script, film the video, upload it. Boom. Get five clicks. <laughs> That's my life, bro. That's exactly my life. <laughs> Find some problem that everyone has, film a video about it, get five clicks. Boom. <laughs> So you see that true wisdom doesn't come from outside. It doesn't come from self-improvement videos. That is intelligence. Intelligent men are like calculators. Calculators cannot work without someone else typing in numbers on it. Calculators don't work by themselves. Not even AI works by itself. AI is still not wise. Wisdom, a wise computer, would see things or recognize things and simply write a program about it. This is what wisdom is. You see a fucking tree and you get this idea. Make a video about how to push over a tree or how to, how to cut a tree, how to climb a tree, whatever. This is wisdom. Wisdom is what you learn from the world. Intelligence is what you learn from books, videos, podcasts. And let me be clear, you need both. And especially in the beginning stages of self-improvement, you need intelligence. And sometimes you need intelligence because you're not going to be able to learn everything by yourself. But the way you have wisdom, the only way you have wisdom is by having good mental health. So the best way to become a wise person isn't to walk five hours a day or meditate an hour a day. That is all lies. The actual way to think for yourself and actually come up with your own conclusions is good mental health and good sleep. Those are the two things. You don't need more. You don't need to have a fancy car or a good wardrobe or a girlfriend or whatever. Wisdom comes from God and is given to you if you follow his ways. And to describe it into basically like more degenerate, worldly um, words, if you have good mental health, God will give you or God will award you with wisdom. Because true wisdom is more important and more valuable than all the money in the world. If you have the wisdom on how to make money, you don't need money, actually. If you need money, you can make it. But you don't need to store money. If you know how money works, if you know how it moves, and I'm far from that, I'm not saying I know everything about money. I obviously don't. But if you know how something works, if you know it, if you are wise of the fact how something works, you don't need to store it. You don't need to store muscle. You still do because it looks nice, but you wouldn't need to. If there was a battle, you knew, okay, three months beforehand, I start to train and then I will have enough muscle to go through the battle and afterwards I can rest until the next battle arises. This is how wisdom works. 
Intelligence is always packing on new things and simply learning, 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 and learning, consuming. And in a past video, I said something that is that has just struck my mind. Consume and be consumed because the things you consume today will consume you tomorrow. If you consume too much knowledge, your knowledge will consume you and you will not be able to be humble because you will think, I am so knowledgeable. I know so many things. I read seven self-improvement books when actually the guy who walks through the forest and who looks at a tree knows everything about life just by the way that tree moves and doesn't move. Wisdom comes from, this, comes from these deep, masculine, natural things. Wisdom is this sort of aha moment, this sort of moment I have understood it. But it's not only that. Wisdom isn't the aha moment you have in a book. Wisdom is the aha moment when you see something works that you have built. When you see something striking your mind and you're like, oh, wow, I've never seen this from this angle. And I'm going to tell you as a special sort of um, gift for you. The only book that gives you wisdom. No book can give you wisdom. No book. Not even the best books. But there is one book that can give you wisdom. Has you, have you guessed it? It's the Bible. Because the Bible is the word of God. And when you read it, God will put images in your mind. And God will help you understand everything in the way you need to understand it. Every person reads the Bible differently. If person A reads the Bible, it's not the same as when person B reads the Bible. They might have different ideologies. They might have different needs in life. And therefore, they will, especially with the things Jesus said, they will, they, will, they will see this in different ways. They will understand it in different ways because their needs are different and because God gives them his word. Right? It's not just a text. It is God's word. And if you read God's word, he will strike these, these images and these realizations into your head. And that then is wisdom. Because it comes from God. So wisdom doesn't come from you by reading. So stop reading. Wisdom doesn't come from you by learning in school. Wisdom doesn't come from you by watching self-improvement videos. Wisdom comes from you by simply being quiet and listening to the beautiful nature and just letting God put his wisdom inside your head. That's how wisdom works. Wisdom is the clearest roadmap that you can have in life. And the best way to acquire it is through good mental health. So click on this video right here to get better mental health or at least to get advice from me on how to have better mental health. Master your mind and may God protect you. Jesus loves you.